Well, that's all okay. for me, I guess. Next one. Perfect. And it's going to be you anyway, because it's going to be you and Jinx that talk about New World news now for the other half of the, the audience. Uh, yep. Before we jump into New World, I'd like to say something. Yeah, go ahead. So, as many of you here know, I've been on leave for several months now. Uh, and I've heard tell that there are a lot of people asking about the ghosts, so I think this would be a good time to announce that in January, I'll be returning from leave, and I'll be returning to full duty, and we'll also see the launch in late January or early February of a system called Regiments of Renown. This will include groups like the Hunter Killers. Uh, Hunter Killers themselves won't necessarily change, but it'll be a reclassification of their designation. And to add to that group of Regiments of Renown, we will also see a return of the Ethereal Legion, otherwise known as the Ghosts. Mm. Mm -hmm. I will be full-time heading up that Regiment of Renown. Yep, I can already see the talk. <clears throat> Once... Once the Ghosts relaunch, officially rebranded as the Ethereal Legion, there will be three ranks. You will have the entry-level Ghost, which is nearly a free sign-up. All you have to do is pass a small test. Anybody who's played Planetside for more than a week or two should be able to pass the entry exam. Afterward, oh, once you've proven your medal, you become a Spectre. And once you've proven your medal as a Spectre, only the most elite among the elite earn the designation Reaper. So, while we won't be able to hold a Halloween event this year, come late January, early February, the Ethereal Legion will return. Ooh, hell yeah. Nice. Alright, nice. I'll hand the floor back yeah. to you guys. Get the right. Time for the New World News. Thanks, Tash. All right. So, uh, New World, I have a few things that I want to talk uh, specifically to the New World people in here. And uh, for the planet side folks, it's nice for you all to know kind of what's going on with New World if you ever think about jumping into that. Uh, specifically for the New World people that is in here, uh, tonight and, you know, just uh, overall before tomorrow, we're going to try our best to really consolidate the consoles for the company. This is a discussion that we've had already. Uh, so we're going to push those changes. If they're not in place already, we're going to inform everybody and get a ping out that from, from this point on, the system is in place. Uh, and this is each one's uh, responsibilities and what everybody's looking into. So we have Vash in here, Raz. We may have somebody else that is specifically from New World that are going to be playing specific roles in the company itself that goes from PvP, PvE, uh, logistics on the towns, uh, crafting and gathering, and just overall diplomacy for the company. Uh, so you guys, we are going to be rolling out that system, and now it is officially in place. I know some of you have been you know, doing those duties already for a while, uh, but now it is officially out, and we are going to be looking in the future on how to try to bring that system into the overall SKL system. But again, as I said in the beginning, this is not a discussion for now. We're going to be looking into that with more details later down the line. Uh, another point is the information for New World. New World is a game that requires a lot of information spread. Uh, there should be lots of pings. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done here in the Discord to make it functionally uh, better. So just to start, and these are the changes that are going to be implemented like in, in overall right now, we're going to be having a trade channel, which is basically going to be a channel for people to request stuff from other areas that they're not doing. So this is going to be a channel for people that are looking for Let's say you want to have an armor crafted. You're going to be able to request that armor in one of our channels. Uh, let's say you're looking for someone that can gather you a thousand iron ore or something of the sort. You can also request it in there. This is going to be mostly used by the consoles of both logistics and uh, the, uh, the industry consoles. 
but it's relevant for everybody, right? Because that, that's going to be a way for us to connect everyone here on the Discord and have just a better place for us to do intercompany uh, trading and not only of, of goods, but also of skills as well. So we're going to have that channel. We're also going to have a designated PvP role for everybody that is engaged in PvP. That specifically is going to be pinged for wars. So every time we have an incoming war and we want to start to... Um, and we want to start to ping people to participate or we're having a major invasion or we're taking an enemy territory or defending our own, we're going to use that PvP ping specifically to not annoy everybody while doing it. Uh, and the, the last change that I can think of is the... Uh, give me a second here, where is it? Yeah, so the last change that we're going to have is uh, I will also create the, the information channel, which is going to be a place where all the information about New World is going to be at. So we're going to have the names of our specific consoles, their, uh, their, their assistants. Uh, we're going to have the description for the server. We're going to have the description on, on how the Discord works. So it's almost going to be a guide channel for everything that's relatable to New World, and that's just going to be an exposition channel there's not going to be any pings in there and we may end up putting uh, a feedback form in that channel as well for the new world people so that's everything i have for new world angel do you have anything you want to mention real quick he's currently dodging being by bears evidence yeah um not that I can think of, other than the fact that we're going to be having a war here in like half an hour or yeah. an hour. But um, no, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to getting this structure set in stone and seeing how it goes in like a month's time. Obviously, I don't think we're going to get it 100% right first shot. I mean, as much as we'd like to, it's probably not going to happen. But uh, yeah. we got to start somewhere. So thanks everyone who volunteered and... Uh, and stuck up their hand when we asked for volunteers to help us try and get this going. It's it, it's basically that's that's what who actually does the work is the people that raised their hand and said, yeah, I'll, I'll help. Because ultimately, mm -hmm. me and Orby couldn't be doing this just as a two man team. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's all from me. Uh, let's move on to the next one here. Because I know our time is running short. Yeah. Okay. So folks. Uh, now we're going to cover uh, SKL writ large. I'm going to keep this less than five minutes if possible to at least meet the hour time frame. So next thing, Battlefield 2042. We are going to have a Battlefield 2042 section. It's going to be very loosely run. It's just going to be an uh, area for people to play together until the more Fidelity comes out about dedicated servers because at this time it looks like they aren't doing they aren't doing any dedicated servers yet they're doing persistent servers that are tied to like an IP it's a really weird system I was reading about it cuz I'm going to consider getting a server I don't know if I will yet but I'm going to keep it back in back in my brain um, and that actually reminds me of something I got to add ad hoc to this meeting um, so expect the Battlefield 2042 branch to pop up in the uh, chat. So if you ever want to squad up with folks or team up when that game goes live on the 19th of November, uh, feel free to absolutely do so. We'll encourage the expansion of it and see where it goes from there. Like I said, it's going to be an organically driven kind of beast. We're not going to have any major really structure to it. It's just going to be like a hangout um, unless there is a genuine interest to go further because this is this battlefield is different than the other ones in the sense that um, well, the beta is still shit like the rest of them, which is good, actually, a really good sign. Um, the They want to make this more of a live service. So there's a little more longevity to it, and that's why I'm kind of keen to pick up on this as it starts. Um, and so keep your ear to the ground if you're interested in just shooting people in the face and something different than Planet Side. Uh, there will be an attachment for that. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is the Minecraft server. So I've been looking at the Minecraft server, so some of you know, so I've been paying for the Minecraft server since we kicked it off, uh, uh, or since actually it switched from Supertrust to me in, I think, February time frame or something like that. Um, this thing runs me uh, 30 Canuck do dollars each month, which is not breaking the bank by any stretch. Uh, I'm happy to keep it going, but I don't know if people are still playing it. 
I know they're going to be releasing a second portion of the cliffs and whatever the hell the caves uh, patch was. Um, I don't know when that's coming, and I don't know if the uptake and interest is our, in our, if our server is just, if the juice is worth the squeeze, is all, I'll put it like that. Um, if the server does shut down, um, we would migrate and save all the files, of course. We wouldn't just turf it. Um, because a lot of work has been done on it, but it might just get suspended. So what I really need to know is if people are still playing it, um, you know, if it's five people, that's enough for me. I'm fine with that. If nobody's playing it or they're playing it like once a week and then that's about it and it's just kind of sitting there, I'm going to probably free up my pocketbook for other things. So I just wanted to bring that out there. I know I mentioned this before, but there were still some people playing, so I kind of just let it go and ignored it and let it let them keep playing and didn't have to worry about it. Okay, so... Uh, SKL as a whole it going forward for the next couple months. So I, at the beginning of the year, um, I mentioned the milestones that I personally had as a leader for the outfit um, on tasks that are within my area of responsibility. And so one of those was a website. Another one, well, the website kind of came organically, but the website, merchandise, um, and then recently kind of got tacked on was Discord. So Discord is kind of invading part of my time, but I'll be perfectly honest in saying I've been definitely delinquent on all those other tasks, largely because they are much more, um, they take more time than I anticipated at the beginning, and they're also going to cost a lot more money than I was prepared to off the get-go. So what the roundabout is, is I'm going to be delaying a little bit of the launch of the website and subsequently the merchandise because I need that tied to the website because I don't want it run off Discord. Um, not indefinitely, it's going to happen. It's just I don't know when I can get this to make sense and, and just work out. So it's my big problem uh, overall because it's still part of the uh, the major events and major things I wanted to have happen for the year. So those will be on the radar. And part of that is a New World portion logo of SKL. So we have a planet side version, but we I am looking at a New World version. And so I need help as to what that symbol if you will looks like the symbol doesn't change it's still our black hole um, but the mascot if you will okay um, but this is a discussion for the future I just want to get people thinking about that because not everybody wants to purchase the new world or the regular SKL one they would want to get a different symbol so what have you and all that jazz um, custom user logo so my avatar is a custom uh, logo I had made uh, from basically from an artist that I've been using for the bulk of our for actually essentially all of our stuff um, and I still have them on a retainer it's essentially formalizing a document that allows people just to go in there and drop because a lot of you I, I have a lot of requests sitting in my books that are different and they all want different things and it's really hard for me to formalize that and put that into something that somebody could just click on a link and be like okay I want this 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 and that based on this this and that because I use Fiverr and Fiverr is limited in what capacity I can have um, for other people accessing certain things that I own the copyright to so there's a little bit of work involved with uh, needed for that I haven't forgotten about custom logos I might reapproach people for those custom logo informations in a different format to help me make my life a lot easier um, just when I talk to um, the artist uh, again or the artist company again if you will um, the other thing with the discord so the discord is and I keep saying this it's gonna change in the sense that it's got to get it's gonna get organized in a different manner where you don't need to filter through planet side stuff to find new world and vice versa, right? So things are going to get grouped together and it'll make it easier for you to digest. It's just right now, just making sure the back end makes sense and everything works the way we have it functionality. So we've got a dev server that we are using as a test. Um, and I'm going to get a little bit more invasive on that server just to mess around and make mistakes and kind of screw with things. But I literally took pen to paper and rewrote the Discord just to see what it would look like if I was to redo it. Um, so I have different ideas and I have um, a, con a, a concept that's in my head, um, a way to make this place efficient. So if you don't want to sift through things, you can just close what you don't need to see or don't want to see to make your life easy. Because eventually we're going to have more than one game in here that's going to be occupying space for a little bit, right? So. Um, there's a lot involved with that. And so 
I went two minutes over the time, so I'm, that's going to that's gonna wrap up my speaking portion of this. Let's go into the Q&A. Um, so at the beginning of this, I actually put on the Q&A uh, rules. So if you had a question, put it into the meeting command or meeting text channel and um, begin it with questions just so we can identify those easier by search. So without further ado, let's start moving on to the questions. Uh, Uber, right. if I, uh, Uber, just real quick, if I can, I just have like... Uh, one or two few quick points here before we, we wrap yep, up. First one, just real quick, uh, Burrito, so the Blood Burrito, you, you guys probably know him already from Planetside, he's going to be participating in the fundraiser with one of his events. Uh, this is a good example of how like you guys can help with the fundraiser in any way, shape, or form, just by volunteering on running an event for the fundraiser. So uh, you don't necessarily need to donate or take your time. If you want to make the fundraiser, you know, somewhat different, you can take your time instead of donating a little bit more, just like Burrito is doing. Uh, if anybody is interested in helping Burrito with his event, it's going to be more of a chill event uh, that's open for everybody. He was planning something different, but he decided to change it specifically for the fundraiser, and I'm very thankful for it. Uh, but if you guys want, go ahead and reach out to Burrito if you guys want to help with any kind of event uh, or in his event for the fundraiser. Uh, the the second just quick uh, thing that we've talked about already, but I, I like to bring it up from time to time, is uh, for everybody that is playing Planetside, Kasami specifically is running an all-girls group. So basically a, a girls-only group for Planetside 2. This is something that uh, she started uh, some time ago, and I helped out to get it so uh, started. But it's something nice because it, it is a place for girls to just meet and talk about Planet Side and play together if they want. Uh, just because we all know it is, it is kind of a hard environment for girls to play Planet Side. We have a bunch of jerks out there, so it's a place for you all to be safe and talk about boys or, or all that kind of stuff. So if you have like a girlfriend, uh, if, if you have uh, any females that you know that are playing Planetside, send them your way. Uh, send them her way because Sami can get you an invite and uh, invite her to the group because it, it's a pretty nice, you know, side project that she has there. And I think it's something nice that doesn't have like open publicity. It's not like we can post that anywhere just because we know of the sheer amount of trolls that we have in Planetside and that's not something that we want getting out there that publicly at least not yet so uh, that's just another quick shout out and uh, final one is is another one that I do all the time is just for Blade so if you guys don't know Blade yet Blade has been streaming Planet Side with SKL for a long time I'm not sure if he's doing it right now but you know Blade is our in-house streamer so I also I always like to give him a quick shout out because he's doing something pretty nice and he's just just someone that we all love and uh, if, if you have some time, go drop by and say hi on his stream. Uh, if somebody can, I, I'm sure you guys are in chat there. Go ahead and post Blade's link real quick for me. So I'm not grabbing it right now. There you go. Yeah. So if you guys want to say hi, go ahead. And again, thank you all. And uh, that's all for me. Not mistaken, Blade's doing no world as well, isn't he? Yeah, he he did he did a, a little bit of overworld, but but of new world, but I, I'm not I'm not sure he liked it all that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not for everybody. You know, game game has a few problems. All right, folks. So uh, this will end the formal the speaking points version. So thanks to everybody who came out. Congrats to all the promotions, and a big thank you to all the allied uh, members that come out to our meetings just to keep their ground of what their uh, friends are doing over in SKL. So we'll move on to the question point, and these questions can be directed in to anybody as long as they're in good taste. Sometimes they're okay if they're not in good taste, as long as they follow terms of service. So without further ado, let's get into the questions if there's any. All right, so first question is from Monkey of Death. Question, when, when will the New World channels be moved down to where all the other games are? Uh, I see. I see that as a pretty quick one. I think that's just something we can actually have happen by the end of this meeting if people are not opposed to it. Just because it's kind of in between a lot of the plant side stuff. Um, I'll leave that to Orby. I'll leave that in his court because it's um, minimal impact in my mind. All right. Next question is from Hitter Mitter. When will we send Uber to streaming camp training with VSX Blade? Oof. 
I have to learn how to actually get a stream to work. I don't think I've had a stream actually work on this platform yet. All right. Next question is from Slim Shaney VS. I presume that those higher donation incentives also include the role, right? Yeah, the previous previous donations, kind of like a Kickstarter, um, will apply. The and it, to be perfectly honest, I can say it here: if you pay for a Bastion, you can probably get a, a Colossus with it. It's not a big deal. I don't know. I'll leave that. That's Orbi Court. I think what he means is, is: are they getting a role for those uh, those higher donation incentives, like uh, you yeah, know, like high board, every, board. Yeah, every every rank of donation should come will come with its own role. Um, that can get applied to. Maybe I misspoke. I don't know. I'll leave it to Orby. Okay, and then uh, last current question is from Medicule VS. Uh, this is directed at specifically you, Uber. Uh, does the Elite Squad Reward Charity milestone include Sokar leading a platoon? I love. Oof. So, folks, I'll say it again. Sokar is part of our history, but he hasn't been around, and we don't know if he's coming back. So I can't promise anything on somebody else's behalf. All right, are there any further questions? All right, question from Azon Gatito. Any news on other academies, e.g. construction? Yes. Um, just in case you missed it earlier, we are doing um, the construction and armor academy are going to be next released. We haven't decided which one exactly or haven't said which one we want to do yet. They're both being canvassed, but yes. Um, you can expect in the next, I don't know, shortly, whatever that means, when it's ready, it's ready, uh, Academy coming out, okay? It's uh, it's our big next bound, is one of those two Academies, okay? All right, a uh, question from Hitter Mitter. Are new Swarm Lords expected to help out in the Academies? Yes, so as part of Swarm Lord promotions, uh, all Swarm Lords are part of the Academy training system as instructors. That doesn't mean you can be t you specifically tied to the, uh, the Officer Academy. You could be an assistant instructor in the Air Academy, Infantry Academy, um, as long as you show there are certain competence, so you have to meet their criteria for training, and they can train you to be the trainer. But the expectation is new Swarm Lords will absolutely uh, be part of the Academy system if you play Planet Side. All right, are there any other further questions? Silence is compliance. Um, so what I will say for the New World folks, the reason I added that little Kavit there is because you can fully expect that there's going to be um, some sort of thing or requirement that has to be achieved when you get promoted to Swarm Lord through New World. I don't know what that is. That's something that I will be advised on by Orby, Jinxie, and the rest of the team. Um, but we'll figure out something so it's fair for both ways. So it's not quicker to be a Swarm Lord in New World. It's not quicker to be a Swarm Lord in Planet Side. They both have equidistant routes that you have to achieve. But the concept is Swarm Lord is going to be the probably the pinnacle of in-game stuff. Because when you get Swarm Lord, your, I'm not going to call it a master at everything in the game, but you are at the level in game where you are fire and forget, right? Um, when you hit Abathur, now you're working for SKL writ large, right? You're looking at administrative issues, you're looking at personnel, you're looking at plans, you're looking at events, you're looking at all sorts of stuff. And so that takes a different kind of dedication and different kind of work overall. All right, this is a last call for any questions for the Q&A portion. Kasami with the iron fist down there. <laughs> All right, well, if there are no further questions, I think we're just going to roll the music and let everybody kind of filter Perfect. out here before we close it. Oh, Thanks for coming, you folks. Got something? I think Trim can get an honorary role. I saw that. Where is Uber face reveal? <laughs> so I have hid my face reveal um, 
I want to, I do want to tie it in with merch. I'll be honest. I do want to tie it in with merch. I'll give you that much. How I'm going to do it, I don't know. So just wait out. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. If you were part of a certain call in Elite Command, you got to see. I didn't even know what you got to see because I know it was looking at the roof, but there's your there's your sneak peek. Oh, that that's disturbing, Angel. <laughs> if there's nothing else for me, I am going to continue cooking my chicken and filter out. All right, is that it? That's it. All right, have a good night, music. folks. Thanks for coming. <laughs> we had the same idea, Rage. Yeah, everyone, congratulations on your promotions. Oh, that's right, we do have to haze the new guys, don't we, Rage? Alright, everybody to the paperwork dungeons. Yeah, you can salute Sapient. This room will officially close at 6.30pm. Oh, sorry, 630 my time, but <laughs> six minutes from now. Pancho, stop doing what I do. Let's talk behind everyone's back. <laughs> <laughs>